Last night, Ariana Grande released her new album, Thank You, Next. And me, being the Ari stan that I am, of course I'm gonna listen to it. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you thought this was. My new series, Hit or Miss, hasn't been updated in a hot minute. If you have any albums you would like me to review, preferably newer ones, hit me up. I will rate each song 1 through 10, then give the actual album a rating 1 through 10, then compare it to the other albums the artist released. Sound great? <laughs> great. You won't be able to listen to the actual song because uh, that'll get my channel copyrighted and we need that AdSense. Uh, bitch, gotta pay bills somewhere. One song I will not be reviewing is Thank You Next because... Just because, all right? Don't get me wrong. I love the song. It's just I want to focus on the other songs. <gasps> I just made an unintentional pun. Here for it. First song was Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored. <laughs> Bitch! I'm here for Africana Grande. This song released my inner hole, or as I like to say, <laughs> my inner Friday night pretending to be in a music video. I love the mm mm sound she makes. That yo though, you don't have to do that every song, Ari. I promise you. The beat matched with the flow of the lyrics, and she talked about hitting it in the morning. Oh, I'm on my way, queen. Yes! It's one of my favorites off the album. I gave it a nine. I took one off because of that damn yo. After that was in my head. Wasn't a fan. I listened to it, but I didn't feel anything. It's a skip. I'm not gonna lie to you. But when she said running from your issues, I thought to myself, hmm, shade. No, I'm just playing. No, I'm lying. In that skirt, skirt. Ugh, I've heard too much Mikos to take that seriously. However, I do love the ending. The last minute, oh yeah, definitely. So I guess the most accurate rating to me is a... Four? All right, then after that was Needy. It sounded like a lullaby. It's a cute song and also one of my favorites. There was no beat drop necessarily, just the same melody throughout, which I have no problem with. My main issue was the lyrics could have been better. They weren't horrible or bad, but with the melody such as that one, those lyrics could reach a wider potential. But who am I to talk? I still gave it a seven, so fuck that. Fuck what, forget what I just said. But bitch, let's talk about ghosting. Oh my God. It is such a pretty song. It gave me my everything vibes and she uses more of her deep voice. I prefer when she uses them high notes, but her in this, whoa, the sexiness jumped out. The melody, the lyrics, overall beautiful. I gave it a 10. Fuck what y'all saying. If anything, she should stick to this type of music. That's all. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. Seven rings, I label another seven. It grew on me. At first, I didn't like it. I was like, um, but what the fuck is this? But then I looked a little closer and realized the reason why I disliked it was because I'm a broke ass bitch who can never be her. So after that, I kept listening to the it. The lyrics, uh, not the best in the entire world. A little repetitive, but then again, who cares? <laughs> right? Also, her deep voice makes me nut. So... Imagine I heard from a lot of news sources was about Mac Miller and the perfect love affair. I can't confirm it's about Mac, but I can say it is about the perfect love affair. I wasn't feeling the song very much until, until the last minute. And I said to myself, why the fuck wasn't this like this the whole entire time? I felt like I was going to church. Like, uh, what's up? My dead ass will listen to this just for the purpose of hearing the last minute in 20 seconds. I'm still, uh, though. So I'll say a five, half and half. Yeah, that's great. I listened to Bad Idea after that. I liked this song. A lot. Not only was it something refreshing, in the middle of the song, a whole new fucking melody came into play. Then near the end, another beat popped up. I said to myself, ma'am, my edges, my wig cap can't take all this sweat. It sounds like something original, if you can understand what I mean. It's a freaking nine. I only took one off due to the lyrics not being the best. But who cares? I already did her damn thing with this song. So if you don't listen to reggae, you won't understand my comparison. But Ari, you ain't sleep with blood line i understand the undertone i recognize caribbean and jamaican inspired music when i hear it i see you girl i see you i see you nonetheless i still wasn't into the song <laughs> i love how i just gassed her up and talk about hey girl i see you doing your thing with the music with the beat and then i still don't like it <laughs> i'm trash as hell it's also a skip i really wanted to like this song because of the beat but i couldn't get into it the lyrics did nothing for me just like the beat did, it, it, I, I, I didn't, I didn't like it. I, I'd, I'd say, I'd say a three. I, I didn't like, and I'm sorry. Fake smile. 
was something. I heard the start, the first 20 seconds was, hey, yours truly vibes, but then, uh, skr, skr, like, uh, I had to stop in the middle of the street. Like, what, I didn't like, what, what, what was that? I love the message, absolutely. Just wasn't for me. The melody deserved better than what lyrics were provided for it. That's all. So I give it another three. It was all right, it was cool. But she redeemed those last two songs with NASA. Like, bitch, nobody told you to pop off like that. I love how she says N-A-S-A. -A. It sounds cuter than my ogre ass, but you get my drift. She also mentions Fortnite. That threw me off, but I regained consciousness afterwards. I enjoyed this, not in my tops though, but I'm still gonna vibe to it. I gave it an eight. I really love this album. It's a step up from Sweetener, that's for sure. That's my opinion. I know how some of y'all bitches gonna react. Salvatore, that's not true. Uh -uh, shut your defensive ass up. I'm not here for it. This is my favorite album by Ari. Nah, my everything will always be that bitch. But thank you, next. It's a listen from now on. The overall album for me is a 7.5. I'm really freaking impressed. It's a hit. I like this era a lot better than last year's. Ari was just going through something. That's all. Have you guys heard the album yet? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you have some favorites? Do you have some ones that you'll skip? Will you listen to it again? Is it your favorite by Ariana? Is it your least favorite? I wanna know in the comments, fam. And hey, I uploaded twice a week this week. <laughs> Suck on that, bitches. Y'all thought I wasn't gonna do it, but I did it. Your main bitch did it, she did it. She did it, she did it. Fuck all y'all. Hope you guys stay tuned for the next video because this one is now over. See you guys later. Thank you.